Hey, welcome everyone. This video is going to teach you how to connect a PlayStation 4 controller to a Mac. Because yes, it can be done and there's some stuff to use. So there's two ways to get it done. I'm going to show you very, very quickly. One is through a wired connection and one is through a wireless connection. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is I'm going to show you how to get this connected through Steam app. So you can play some of your PC games through there if you want to. If you want to use anything else outside of Steam, there's no guarantee it's going to work. It really depends on how the developer designed the connectivity to you know connect and detect the PlayStation 4 controller. So your mileage may vary, but let's get into it. So these steps are applicable to pretty much any type of Mac. In my case, I'm using a MacBook Pro, but if you have like an iMac, Mac Mini, whatever, these steps will still be the same. So in my case, my MacBook Pro only has USB-C ports, so I have to connect an adapter to the Mac itself, and then the PlayStation 4 wire goes into the adapter, and the other end, which is a micro USB port fitting, connects into the controller itself. And that's pretty much it. You now have a wired connection set up. Now let's switch over to how to connect this over through a wireless connection, which is pretty much just as easy. On the PlayStation controller, what you want to do is press and hold the PlayStation button at the center and the share button together at the same time for about three seconds, or at least until you see the flashing light at the top of your controller. That's when you know it's ready and in pairing mode. Over on the Mac, the easiest thing to probably do is open your system preferences, open up Bluetooth, find the controller, hit connect, and that's it. You now have a wireless connection set up. Let's switch over to how to connect it with Steam because it does need a little bit more tweaking at this point. So open up your Steam client and near the top right, there's an option if you hover, they will say big picture mode. You wanna open this up. Now at this point, Steam in big picture mode should say, hey, you need some drivers to be installed in order to continue using your controller. Go ahead and accept it. In my case, it didn't, but I'll show you how to get around that, so don't worry. Continuing on, what we wanna do is hit the cog settings icon at the top right, go under controller settings, and then check the box for PlayStation configuration. And that's pretty much it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you do need the Steam drivers for the controller to install in order for full compatibility. Now, if you're like me, it didn't pop up. So there is a way to force Steam to, you know, allow for the installation later on. Simply disconnect the controller if it's a wired connection, or if you're using a wireless connection, power down the controller by pressing and holding the PlayStation button for roughly 10 seconds. At this point, connect your controller back through a wire or Power up the controller again and let it sync up. You'll know when it's uh, a solid light and connected to the Mac. And at this point, you will be presented with the driver installation, which presents new problems because of Mac security. I had a whole bunch of pop-ups appear which saying that this installation is not allowed, it's not valid, I had to allow some settings. I didn't find those settings, they didn't exist anywhere, and randomly all of a sudden the drivers is installed automatically. So again, your mileage may vary. It seems to be more of an Apple thing where they enforce too much security, so it makes it more difficult than it needs to be. Once that's done, you can navigate big picture mode with the controller and start playing your games if you want to. If you want to exit big picture mode, just hit the power button at the top of the screen and you're done. And that's it. Your controller is now ready to be used with Steam at the very least and possibly other applications like maybe you have some game emulators, but again, this may or may not work. It depends on how the developer designed those other applications. So I hope you found this video useful. Be sure to check out my social links in the video description and thanks for watching.